Lil Durk was taken into custody in Broward County, Florida, yesterday, October 24th, on suspicion of murder for hire. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. He is expected to appear in federal court in Fort Lauderdale later today, according to his attorneys, Alec Ubieta and Brian Bieber. However, according to DJ Academics, he has now been moved out of the Broward County Jail. Axe says in a tweet that he's probably being transferred to a prison in California. Five suspected OTF affiliates were detained on similar allegations a few hours before de Dirk's detention. Authorities suspect them of being involved in the murder of Quando Rondo's cousin Xavier Lulpab Robinson. In 2022, Quando Rondo and Lulpab were shot at a gas station in Los Angeles. Despite supposedly being the target, the rapper left unharmed, but Lulpab eventually passed away from his wounds. The five men, according to the prosecution, were recruited to murder Quando Rondo as payback for King Von's death in 2020. The anonymous OTF member allegedly even offered the person who did so lucrative music opportunities. Timothy Lull Tim Leakes was arrested shortly after King Von's death and charged with criminal murder in connection with his demise. But in 2023, Georgia's Stand Your Ground statute resulted in the dismissal of these charges. This indicates that the authorities think he was supposedly protecting himself. Reactions to Dirk's arrest have been divided since it was announced online Friday night. Some social media users are quite worried about Lil Durk and hope that things turn out well for him, while others don't give a damn. Charleston White, for instance, recently took to the internet to offer his thoughts on the fiasco. He thought that the Chicago artist may have a difficult time in prison and laughed at him. Lil Durk, only the family entertainment, a number of other record labels, and even the city of Chicago are being sued by FBG Duck's mother, Lashina Weekly, and two surviving bystanders of the 2020 attack on the deceased rapper. They make reference to claims of carelessness, failure to provide aid, civil conspiracy, and wrongful death. The Dinazulu Law Group issued a press release accusing Lil Durk, King Von, and their associates of plotting Duck's murder and setting a $100,000 reward for his capture. Lil Durk engaged in, planned, approved the bounty on FBG Duck's life and condoned the acts of violence King Von engaged when he knew or should have known of the violent conduct, and violent histories of King Von and other known gang members he affiliated with, the filing alleges. Lil Durk knew long before 2020 that King Von had a vendetta against FBG Duck, sought to rob and kill in the music industry, and consistently sought to build a brand of violence and reality rap based on committing real acts of violence on FBG Duck and the public at large. Alamo Records, Sony Music Entertainment Inc., Universal Music Group Recordings Inc., and Empire Distribution Inc. are among the record labels named in the lawsuit. It claims that these labels intentionally signed, promoted, and made money off of artists who had gang affiliations and encouraged diss tracks between them. According to the complaint, they helped create an atmosphere that allegedly encouraged and profited from the violent behavior that killed FBG Duck. Additionally, it claims that OTF is a hub for the O-Block criminal enterprise and street gang, and the media outpost of the O-Block criminal organization. The Dinazulu Law Group's complaint against the city of Chicago claims that emergency services, and police did not act quickly enough to assist FBG Duck following the shooting. Before being treated, they claim he lay alive for more than 17 minutes on the sidewalk outside the Dolce and Gabbana store where he was shot. I had a lot of respect for him. I used to watch the interviews on YouTube. Lil Woody is now a notorious hip-hop figure. He's gained a lot more notoriety, but not in a positive way. Woody, sometimes known as YSL Woody, is said to be the star witness in the young thug YSL Rico case. As so, he has encountered a great deal of disdain from his peers. On social media, he verbally attacked other YSL members. It appears that he is now venting about his strained friendship with hip-hop icon Charleston White. He get on the internet, so I'm a killer. Lil Woody had a detailed conversation with Adam22 about his falling out with White. Although he acknowledged that he was once cool with White, he believed that the hip-hop icon was being dishonest when he appeared on camera. Hey, bro, like me, you don't talk about none of this stuff you're going to do on these platforms. Where things went awry, though, is when Charleston White started labeling Woody a killer. He also started talking poorly about the rapper to his Instagram audience. I got real genuine love for you. I thought that you had the same thing for me. Lil Woody claimed that after he saw Charleston White constantly portraying him negatively, his respect for the latter decreased. But you want to get on these platforms and say, I'm a killer. Woody believed that White was purposefully stirring him up by managing their relationship in this way. He referred to a particular Instagram post where White attempted to incite conflict between Boozy Badaz and Lil Woody. The rapper was very explicit in saying that he didn't want to get into problems with people. I ain't out here trying to mess with nobody. I ain't trying to have beef with nobody. It's possible that Lil Woody will spark debate. Having said that, he expressed to Adam22 his desire to move on from everything. I don't did that for like too many years of my life, trying to move forward with it. Lil Woody claimed that he doesn't play when he is at odds with someone and that he believes White isn't prepared for a serious altercation. 
He was essentially telling White to stop her shenanigans. I know how I can get, he warned the hip-hop personality. And you playing. Hopefully the two men can reconcile. Young Thug supporters and loved ones are more irate than ever because he hasn't received any significant updates in his continuing RICO trial. This includes well-known witness Lil Woody, whose antics in court have recently garnered a lot of media attention. He sent a long and emotional letter regarding the matter on Instagram yesterday. Father God we need you now more than ever I pray that you answer our prayer and free Jeffrey and co-defendants. The world has seen the treatment our justice system has done to us lock us up forced us to tell untruthful stories. The mistreatment is crazy, he wrote. Wrong is wrong we have sympathy for all the victims and their families as kids bad choices are made and punishment is acceptable but this is a different story this is corruption this is madness and very personal. God you know our heart and mindset you know our growth please touch the wicked and change their heart and release them six men that's fighting for their life every day in that courtroom. Woody continued. They have family that loves them and need them. Woody's nice remarks regarding the case have received praise from certain admirers. There are many who reflect on his past and wonder if he truly means them. 